Last video, we saw this figure, which is the relationship between price and sales, and we said that it looks like there's a negative relationship. We also saw this regression equation and saw that the coefficient beta 1 was negative and significant, suggesting that in fact there was such a negative relationship. But I want to show you what a regression is actually doing, and the way I'm going to demonstrate this is by actually creating a new variable in SPSS, which is the predicted value for sales at any given price point. And we'll show you how to do that right now. So in SPSS, we can create a calculated column, which is very much like creating a calculated cell in Excel. The way we do that is we go to transform, compute variable, and we get this dialog where it says, what do you want to name the new variable? So we're going to name the new variable predicted sales. And we say, well, how do you get there? Well, the way we get there is we're going to say, let's take our constant beta zero, which is 1092.77. We're going to add to it beta one, negative 377.08 times whatever price happens to be that week. So we've got mm price right over here and we can just click over mm price. Now we could have typed it in just as well, but this is this faster way to do it. So this equation is gonna create a new column of data and we see that right here. And what this column says is this is the predicted level of sales at any given time given the price that we had. And the neat thing about this is we can actually graph this relationship. And so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna graph this new predicted sales value right on top of the scatter plot that we had previously. And so what you can see is that the relationship is in fact negative, such that at any price, we can predict the degree of sales. Now, obviously, this is not a perfect predictor. For instance, we see that the line, the green line, which is our predicted values, is not exactly overlapping every single one of these dots. And that's because we're using a very simple linear function. What SPSS is actually doing is it's trying to figure out what line here would be best fitting these data, meaning that at any given price value, the distance from the observed data is minimized at every single point. Now that might not seem to be the most intuitive statement, so I've actually created a little bit of a demo in Excel which demonstrates how this works. I'll post this demo on Canvas and you can play with it yourself, but the way it works is as follows. Let's say we have a random set of data, which is these blue dots. What we want to do is we want to figure out the distance from the dot to the line at every single point, and then we want to simultaneously minimize the distance for all of those points. Now, there is in fact a closed form solution to this problem using matrix algebra, so the way SPSS actually does the math is different than what I'm demonstrating, but intuitively it's actually doing the exact same thing. So the way to think about this is we're gonna change the slope and the intercept, so the intercept is our beta zero and the slope is our beta one, and we're gonna see if we can decrease the error. In this case, the error is right here. It says 86 starting off. So for instance, if we move the line up a little bit, the error gets worse suggesting that that's a bad fit. If we change the slope a bit, the error gets worse there as well, but maybe if we move the slope up, starting to get a little bit better, starting to fit the data a little bit more cleanly. What happens if we change the slope there? Nope, that seems to be our solution, meaning this line minimizes the distance between every dot and the line simultaneously. Some of the errors are pretty big, like over here, and some of them are pretty small, like the ones that are actually on the line. But this is actually the minimum amount of error that we could produce in this particular chart. And so this is what regression is doing. It's trying to say, can we have the best fit for the data given what we observe? And this is what SPSS is trying to do. It's trying to minimize this error and produce a line that best fits the data. In the case of our data for sales of cartons of orange juice, that green line is in fact the best fitting line we can come up with. And so that's what's going on under the hood. Let's jump back in the next video to using regression to actually understand business decision making.